Hello you lovely viewers, how are you doing? It's your boy Lurkin, uh, back with another video. Okay, so I've been looking through quite a few different YouTubers doing streams and stuff. And one thing I've noticed for a lot of people that are just starting out, they've not actually found all of the runes. So today, I'm going to be making a video on that and showing you where the locations are. Uh, this can be done on any difficulty so I'm just going to run through on a lower difficulty just so you can actually see uh, where they are and well let's just get straight into it so the first one we're going to is Soggy Swamp um, this is quite an easy one to find uh, I do believe it is more towards the end of the level but if you just follow the path that I go you should be able to find it quite easily I am running a speedrunning build as well just to get through this a little bit quicker so that way you're not watching me run through every single level over and over so we're just gonna run straight through unfortunately I don't have armor with the rolling buff actually do I? don't think I do actually so we'll just have to keep using these to run through there we go okay we've got a fight on this bit so we'll just get a bam um, the reason I've got my map up as well is so you can actually see where I'm running. Just in case. So we'll run through. We'll just get rid of a boss. Well, mini boss. If it can keep up, he can. There we go. And I fell in the water there. We'll get rid of that. Okay, so yeah. As I said, we're just running through. And I believe that this is the one with the cauldron anyways at the end. Oh, yep, that way. <laughs> I'm just looking at the mini-map. because you got a nine. Okay, um, well, actually, I believe I may be able to show you where the uh, secret soggy cave level is as well, which will also be quite nice. So, I don't think I can because the uh, map has just started going upwards. Okay, so normally if the map is actually going downwards when you get to about this way, um, you do have the uh, soggy 
cave locations spawned in. So you should normally just be able to get that. Ooh. I'll take that. And here we go. I think we need to destroy some more things in a second. Oh no, no we don't. Okay, so once you've defeated the cauldron here, which normally takes a good minute, um, you get to here and you'll actually see a little button here. You can press that go in here and this is the first rune location so you'd come over hit the button a little rune will appear in the middle of the room and then you collect that and that's your first one done so we'll just return to camp and for anyone watching if you're wondering why I just returned to camp it's because I'm not too bothered about the uh, chest. I just want to show the locations in this. Um, yeah. Okay, so the next one is in Creeper Woods. So I will go through and do this one. And the reason I'm doing it as one full video is so you can actually see how far you've actually got to go into the level to get it. I know there are some guides out there on the internet and they'll probably show you like the second area to where you've already been and sometimes they do just get kind of confusing oh, they aren't slowing oh I forgot about this villager Okay, so here we go, we'll uh, keep running through. That's the first time I've seen a redstone golem in this level. Ugh. 
Okay, so once you get to this second area, you've got to free quite a few different villagers, but we're just going to ignore that. If you actually come down to this side of the screen, you'll see this area here. Uh, normally it doesn't open straight up, you've got to press a button that is just here underneath my feet. And then you can go in here, and this is your second rune location. So we'll return back to camp. It's always located on the west side when you go to free those villagers. So the uh, next one that we'll be going to, I'm just going to have a quick look. So we've got the soggy swamp and the creeper woods done. Sorry about that. Uh, so the next one would be in pumpkin pastures. So again, we'll just drop the difficulty. Okay, so uh, this one is located about one third into the level. So, as soon as it loads in, I'll start running and we'll be off. Okay, so yeah. And if you're wondering why I'm actually shooting some enemies, it's because my bot has Tempo Thief, so it gives me more movement speed. Okay, so you need to look for a little mountain like that, you'll come across it roughly around about this far into the level. Uh, you climb up this little mountain, uh, run along the bridge here. Uh, you can get a chest here, but the next button is here, just along the walkway. You hit that one, this wall will open up. You can go straight in, and this is your next room location. Okay, so now we will be heading into uh, Cacti Canyon. And I do apologize about loading times. But yes, the next one is in Cacti Canyon. We will get this one loaded in. And again, I think this is about one third into the level when you come across the Art Challenger. And you've got to survive and get a key. So we'll get this done and I'll bring up my map again. Nice. 
Nice, we leveled up. Just get rid of some of them. Beacons. Okay, we'll get this done quickly. Uh, you'll get a lane. And of course, I fell off the side. to get this last one here. Must have been a spider somewhere there. Here we go. I ran out of ammo. There we go. Okay, so yeah, uh, this is the area. So you'd find your button just here. You press this, and the area is just behind the blue key. Unfortunately, you will have to do a little bit of a fight here. But again, if you're doing it on low difficulty, the enemies are just really easy to do. And then here is your next rune location. So we'll return to camp and go on to the next one. And I will apologize on the length of the video, but at the same time you do get to see how far you've got to run to get each one so we just did cacti canyon so we'll move on to redstone mines and i am trying to get through this as quickly as possible for any of you that are watching i do apologize if you are finding it boring Okay, so this one, you've got to run through about two thirds of the level. And... Here we go. Ok, 
Okay, so this area you've got to free three different villagers. And then you can move on to the next area. Okay, so once you've got to the second area for freeing the villagers, you've got to make your way over to this side. And the button is located just here. Uh, once you've pressed that, you go through here. And that is your next room location. So we'll return straight back to camp and go on to the next one. Okay, so we just got redstone mines done. Uh, we will now go on to uh, desert temple. And again, lower the difficulty so we can just run straight through. Okay, this one, once you've run about, well, once you get to the uh, part where you need to get the key, the switch is located just near there. I'm going to very quickly run through and get to that point though so you can actually see as well I don't know where I were aiming that arrow So we're pretty much at the area now where we need to get the key. So we run down this path as normal to get the key. But instead of getting the key, what you want to do is just run straight into this next little area here. Uh, destroy the mobs if we're getting on your nerves. And there is a lever just here. If you hit this, the secret room will open up here. You go through, and this is your next room location. So, we'll return straight back to camp. From the desert temple we'll now go up to the fiery forge and this one is located pretty much right near the start of the level once you've gone through the first little area you'll come to a door uh, we'll be going through that door and the switch is located just in that area from there Again, I do apologise about loading times. Yeah. 
So, once you get through all of those mobs, if you come over to this wall here, there is a button. Yeah, it opens up your secret area there. You travel in, and this is your next room location. So, we'll return to camp now. Okay, so after the fiery forge, we'll be going to high block holes. And this one is located uh, just before the key door uh, to get into the castle. So we'll be running through to there. And again, it's about one third of the way into the level. There we go. Okay, so we do have a little bit of a fight here, which isn't too difficult. Yeah, this fight is actually a bit longer than I remember. Ah, there we go. Right. Now we can continue. Okay, so once you've got into this like little village area, you want to head up and around the top, and the next location is just here. You want to pull this lever. travel through and this is your next room location so we'll return back to camp again okay so 
We've got Soggy Swamp, got Creeper Woods, we've got one from all of these here. We've got that one and that one, and we've just done the high block holes. So now we need to go to Obsidian Pinnacle. And this one is located uh, inside of the second area. So we'll be running straight through all of the first area until we get to the door. And then I'll be able to show you where the final rune is. Uh, coins on. Okay, so there is a fight again here. So now we've got that done, we can just keep on running. Uh, power both of these beacons. Stone Golem, you can just run past him and straight in. So, this is the area that we want. So you want to run through this area like normal and run up on the map up that'll make it easier for running through. There we go. So you want to get to this room here here we go and the uh, switch should be located just here at the back of the room you want to press that and this one is the final one so once you've got that you can get the rune there is also a gold chest in here which is quite nice and that is the final rune so once you've got all of those and you've completed the game for the first time
what you want to do is run all the way around here and go in there if you don't have that bit unlocked yet you can always go around this way um, this is where you need to have completed the game first because you can only go around this way at first you run round you get to this point there's a lever there which drops a drawbridge and you can travel in here and once you've done all of the runes you'll be able to come up to this point here you'll be able to press a button here and you can travel in there is a map located here and there are two chests as well but uh, that's it for this video if you have enjoyed or if you have found this guide useful in any way please hit that like button if you have found my video interesting and would like to see more please subscribe as I will try and upload more videos and I believe that is all for today thank you for watching and as always guys take care and bye for now